Some of you know that I'm a big Fujifilm fan and with all the hype behind the release of new cameras, I've decided to go back in time and see if I could find something from Fuji that was good and cheap. And I found this tiny little camera the other day and I've decided to just give it a try. This is the Fujifilm X10. So I've watched Patrick Tommaso's take on the Fuji X100, he claims that he can get the Fuji experience for cheap and that sometimes you don't need all the bells and whistles of a new camera. That philosophy has stuck with me and I'm a believer that you can still make cool stuff with older gear because after all it's all about you and not about the shiny new camera. So I thought about this and I wanted to get a Fujifilm camera that would fit into my everyday carry. Something that could be a little bit lighter than my Fujifilm X-C3 kit, but also something that could give me decent photos, even if I chose something older. So, after a little bit of research, I found out all about the Fujifilm X-10, and now I'm gonna tell you everything about it. The Fujifilm X10 is right now a 9 year old camera. The specs are outdated, yes, but there are some really cool things on this camera that might be interesting to try. Aesthetically, you got the beautiful design, very reminiscent of the X100 series. I like the fact that the front face of the camera has no logos, just this really cool Fuji logo at the top. Very neat and very discreet. We got an optical zoom from 28mm at f2 and the longest being at 100 112 millimeters at f2.8. The fact that you can get an optical zoom varying from f2 to f2.8 is amazing for just $100 or less. The second cool feature is the optical viewfinder. It's good, but it's not great. It can be a useful tool, but the fact that now we have EVFs, it's indeed lacking some things. I would rather have a low res EVF than an optical viewfinder that pretty much does nothing special. But at the end of the day, it's still quite useful useful and he adds on to the aesthetic so thumbs up. The third feature is actually software based, is what Fuji called EXR technology. This is supposed to be just like an auto setting but more intelligent. Inside there is a little chip that has the only purpose of analyzing the shot and provide the best setting for said shot. For instance, if you're taking a picture of a landscape, the EXR mode will know that it's indeed a landscape and will give you the best settings for, you guessed it, a landscape. This mode is really cool because even though it's only set for JPEGs, it really does what I wanted this camera to do, simply taking casual pictures on the fly and not really worry about anything else. Now enough chit chat, here are some pictures from the Fujifilm X10. Indeed, this is a really nice camera. You know, it looks nice, it feels nice. It's a beautiful Fujifilm camera. Now, after a couple of weeks of using this particular camera, I noticed that the fact that maybe it's an older camera, I don't know, I'm still not sure. You know, the results were not as good as I expected. And it's kind of weird because the pictures are actually a little bit worse than let's say an iPhone picture for example which you know it's not surprising but at the same time you think okay big lens like big optics good optics technically it would be decent but you know now comparing this you know the results of these pictures with let's say an iPhone picture that you can edit on your phone and then post it directly to Instagram uh, the fact that that workflow is better than uh, this workflow, uh, maybe I might consider something else. But anyway, it was fun to, to try out something you know older and test it out and try it out and going outside. And I actually, like I recommend you guys to try this out, to actually go out there and try buying older cameras like this. It's really fun and maybe you find something that you really love and that actually changes your whole perspective in photography. Who knows? You know, I'm still trying uh, with this little guy here and you should try it too. Guys, thank you so much for watching and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one, yeah? All right, bye-bye.